to Pakistan now, demanding the U.S. stop its drone attacks immediately and cease all covert operations on its soil. Otherwise, supply routes into Afghanistan will stay closed. Those routes have been closed since last November, after U.S. forces mistakenly killed 24 Pakistani troops in a firefight. World Affairs correspondent Dominic Di Natale streaming live for us from Kabul. Dominic? Heather, it's a lot for the Pakistanis to demand. After all, drones are the best tool that America has in targeting those militants that hide inside the Pakistani tribal areas and who, according to many observers, the Pakistanis are believed to be protecting. However, this is their list of what they really want from the United States in order for relationships to resume normality. An immediate end to those drone strikes, a cessation of incursions into Pakistani land and airspace. Now, that actually also includes hot pursuit of militants by U.S. forces here in Afghanistan as those militants often make a hasty exit across the border for protection their safe havens there. They also want no convert operations by either the US military or the CIA, including any private security companies the CIA may use or their operatives. And finally, they want an unconditional supply for that killing, however inadvertent it was of the 24 Pakistani soldiers back uh, in November of last year. As a result of the closure of the uh, supply convoys, it's costing the US taxpayer about 87 million dollars a month. That's so far almost 350 million dollars. So it's absolutely critical that the supply routes open as soon as possible because it's just now so expensive. But the real issue is how the United States is really going to act to this demand. Well, we've seen a drop in the number of drone attacks so far this year. In fact, there's been 10 in just one key area where a lot of the militants do hide and have their safe havens in comparison to the hundreds that we had just a couple of years ago. The U.S. State Department yesterday was saying it does want to resume normal relations with Pakistan as soon as possible. But there is currently a row going on in Pakistan on this very day of whose authority exactly it is to reopen those routes. Is it the government, is it the military, or is it the parliament? And until they can decide, it's not going to happen at all. Back to you. All right, Dominic Di Natale streaming live for us from Cal